。俄罗斯经济发展部长乌柳卡耶夫星期一话，向乌克兰提供嘅分期贷款当中嘅下一笔二十亿美元，目前处于暂停状态。喺乌克兰组成新政府之后，莫斯科再决定是否发放贷款。佢话。It depends of who are will be the responsible figures, because it's a very big amount of money. When IMF or other responsible institution provide support, it asks for the conditions and ask about the partners. So the same will do us. 乌克兰驻联合国代表谢尔盖耶夫喺星期一话：，乌克兰目前嘅状况比阿鲁科维奇政府所对外声称嘅更严重。除咗俄罗斯嘅贷款之外，乌克兰仲需要欧盟提供经济援助。First of all, to to recover from this crisis immediately, then、uh, to do all our best to create the atmosphere which could encourage retaining of the international investors. Domestic investors. <clears throat> The second, we are to <clears throat>、uh, relaunch our、uh, our negotiations with IMF, which were stopped by the previous government. 乌克兰临时政府领袖话，乌克兰喺今后两年需要三百五十亿美元，先至可以避免债务违约。国际社会担心，冇紧急援助嘅话，缺乏现金嘅乌克兰可能会崩溃。英国外相克格星期一喺英国国会会议上提出有关问题。Ukraine's financial situation is very serious, and without outside assistance, may not be sustainable. An economic crisis in Ukraine would be a grave threat to the country's stability and have damaging wider consequences. 法国外长法比尤斯话，目前正在商议召开一次国际捐助国会议。喺华盛顿，白宫发言人卡尼话，美国将会同国际伙伴一齐帮助稳定乌克兰经济。This support can complement an IMF program by helping. To make reforms easier, and by putting Ukraine in a position to invest more in health and education, to help develop Ukraine's human capital and strengthen its social safety net. So we would be working with international partners to complement an IMF program. 欧盟外交政策负责人阿什顿喺星期一抵达基辅，同乌克兰领导人讨论拯救经济困境嘅紧急措施。欧盟呼吁乌克兰组建一个包容有不同政治党派嘅政府，并且举行民主选举。美国之音记者霍克华盛顿报道。